All right, guys, it's uh, Mark Fisher here from 84. Uh, Brooks managed to get me up here for this week's Collaborate Quickfire. So here we go. I'm going to talk about the war for talent, which, as we all know, post-COVID is starting to be a real problem for all businesses, actually in all industries as well. I'm sure everybody's feeling the pain. So I've thought about five different things that I think are impacting this war for talent at the moment. And one first thing to remember is that we actually had a real skill shortage prior to COVID. So before any of this began to get really, really hard, we already had a really, really bad skill shortage across the board. Second thing is uh, we've obviously got no migration, you know, of people and new people coming into the country um, or very few of. So that's putting even more pressure on things. Number three is uh, Australia is starting to really ramp up its search for good people. And so, as you've seen recently in the news, they're actually chucking, you know, $2,000 even for fruit workers to come over to Australia. So the brain drain to Australia is absolutely happening already. Uh, number four is, don't forget, your competition is improving right now. They're getting way better, and they're going to be looking to hire uh, the same people that you're trying to get your hands on. So what are you doing to improve? Uh, and the last thing is, don't forget, we are in a very, very candid short um, market. There is plenty of jobs out there, but quite honestly, there is just not enough people to fill those jobs. All of our clients are hiring at the moment. We just don't have the good quality people. Okay, so now I'm gonna share with you the three things, the three top tips I've got in order to uh, improve your chances of securing the best talent. Uh, because obviously, like I say, this war is heating up, um, especially next year, it's gonna get even harder. So three key things to remember to focus on in your business. Number one is retention. Look after what you've got. Plug the holes, get to the nitty gritty, do an employee engagement survey and really know about your current team. But retention is your absolute number one first strategy. And number two is you need to focus on your, your team's well-being. So obviously there's been a very, very difficult year, but what are you doing to understand your team? I was talking to someone just recently um, and, and they know specifically firsthand that their manager or boss has no idea how they're feeling right now. So do you know everything about how your team is feeling right now? You should. Um, so look after their well-being is number two. And number three is, if COVID hasn't taught us one thing this year in business, it's to be flexible. So sit down with your staff and it doesn't have to be one rule for all. You can have different situations and different uh, flexible arrangements for different staff. So just really think about how are you being flexible as a business owner or as a manager to support your staff's uh, well-being. So that's it. Uh, collaborate quick fire from me for, for the week. Uh, and finally, I think just, yeah, think about your staff you know, and get your house in order first before you go looking for new people uh, and then try and attract um, the best talent. Anyway, good luck. Cheers.